there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of January 18th. This week, I don't know what's going on in the astrology, but pretty much everybody has received very similar messages. I think that a lot of people, including yourself, but a lot of the other signs are going through some major transformations, but also some like removing some obstacles, which is great. Like I, I think some long-held obstacles are being removed, and, and this is a message that's coming up for a lot of signs. So again, I'm guessing that there's some probably some astrological aspects that are making this happen but you start with the two of spades two of spades is usually about a breakup however you know one other sign had this this week and i said to them and i'm going to say to you that this card can also be about balancing current relationships that you already have and i think that's going to be happening for you it could be balancing work relationships uh, it could be love relationships but it can also just be like friends and needing to create some balance in those areas and you know especially at work sometimes this comes up and you do have like a boss like figure coming up so sometimes at work this card can come up when we have like a difficult boss or manager to deal with and we need to figure out some ways to kind of deal with that person or, or deal with their energy if they come on too strong or they're they're just sometimes like i said to the last sign that got this card sometimes it comes up when you're dealing with a manager who just doesn't have any experience this happens all the time to people where they end up with a manager that just doesn't know what they're doing for whatever reason, these people constantly get management positions. So you might have to learn how to kind of balance that out uh, this week with this card. And we have the Eight of Spades next, which kind of speaks to that situation as well. It's kind of like that needing to create balance. But Eight of Spades can be an obstacle. It can be an obstacle to our success, but the card is very easy to overcome. As I say, all we have to do is look in a different direction and try something new or try something different. So anywhere you're stuck in life, really... You know, I want to stress the fact that you should be trying something new. Try a new approach to whatever obstacle you're trying to overcome, and you'll move right past it if you do that. The Eight of Spades is also a card that asks you not to overindulge this week. So if you're on a diet or, you know, you're uh, or you're going out, definitely don't drink a lot on this card. I always say that weird things happen with the Eight of Spades. I've seen it happen. Somebody gets an eight of spades, they even just have like one drink, they go out and drive, they get in trouble. So don't do anything like that with this card. Next, you have the ace of diamonds. Step Setting off on a new path, beginning a new journey, kind of stepping off onto some new kind of leaving some of this old stuff behind that you don't want to deal with anymore and, and moving forward, truly moving forward. This is like one of those forward movements where – once you move forward, that's it. It's not going to be this like hamster wheel thing where you move forward, then you move like a hundred steps back. This brings in the opportunity for you to like really move through some things in your life. But this can be a promotion, more money, uh, better business, all of those things. Anything that kind of gets you moving forward uh, can happen under this card. It's also a card of great stability, feeling more stable. So that's nice as well. Next, you have that King of Hearts. This could be you dealing with that with that manager. Uh, King of Hearts would be a leader. So you could be dealing with some sort of manager or somebody like that at work that's that's difficult and doesn't really know what they're doing. That's I'm feeling that for like a small percentage of you. For the rest of you, the King of Hearts can represent a, even love coming into your life or just you stepping up to a leadership position. So like a lot of you could be taking on the role of a leader this week, which is uh, great. And finally, you have the Joker. The Joker is all about balancing these situations, all about juggling that. So a lot of you could have to be juggling some of these situations like dealing with people, dealing with people at work, dealing with your friends, dealing with your family. Like I think a lot of you are it's, – it's, there's like a heavy – people type feel for you this week and I, so i think you're gonna have to do some juggling here but the good news is the joker is the best at it the joker is the best at juggling these kind of relationship situations so it looks like you'll be able to do it and you'll be able to work really hard under the joker and and you know everything will be fine so looks like a great week definitely like a busy week for sure i'd say like dealing with all these people and dealing with this and that but uh definitely should keep your mind going which is good so thank you for watching